Monday mornings at the clinic are never dull, and last Monday was no exception when Molly walked in. Molly is a 15-month-old Shih Tzu who's been in labour for 24 hours. Yesterday afternoon she produced two stillborn pups and one live one, but unfortunately this pup was too weak to make it through the night. Her owners have brought her in this morning, as since this pup she's made no further attempts to push and hasn't been able to settle overnight. On arriving at the clinic, Molly was quickly examined and then her birth canal was checked to make sure that she didn't have any puppies obstructing um, the way out. This was nice and open, so we then moved to it towards scanning her to check whether she still had pups that were yet unborn. The scan showed that she had numerous live puppies that weren't too distressed. We checked this by looking at their fetal heart rate on the scan and comparing it to Molly's. So all of the unborn puppies were all okay. The only issue was that Molly wasn't pushing them out. She was given a couple of injections to try and stimulate her uterus to contract. These injections take a little while to work, but 20 minutes later she started to become unsettled and started trying to make a nest. <laughs> By 30 minutes later, she started it with some abdominal contractions and then pushed out the first pup. The pup was born within the sac, so the sac was broken so it could breathe and then was stimulated to breathe by rubbing it and putting drops in its mouth. Molly then did what comes naturally, which is to try and eat the placenta and help tie off the umbilicus, but we intervened and did this for her um, before she added off too close to the pup. Pup was then dried and rubbed to try and stimulate its breathing. It still was making good respiratory efforts, but needed a lot of stimulation as it was very weak. Molly then went on to have three more pups, all of which were a little bit slow to start, but eventually started to breathe really well on their own. Initially, Molly wasn't so keen on her new arrivals and motherhood wasn't coming easy. However, with a little bit of encouragement, she let us latch them on so they could then take their first meal. And she settled down really well with them and looked like the job was done. We always confirm that there are no more pups by scanning and to everybody's surprise, a fifth pup was seen on the scan. Molly was then given some more injections as previously, but this time they seemed to be less effective. After 30 minutes, there was growing concern about Molly becoming more tired and also the heart rate of the pup starting to slow down. However, just in the nick of time, just as we started to talk about surgery, Molly found a last bit of strength to push the fifth and final pup out. Good girl. It's quite normal for first time mothers not to be sure of their new arrivals, but by the fifth pup, Molly was very keen to be involved and was very attentive, but perhaps a little too attentive at times. For Molly's owners, a sleepless night lies ahead, keeping a very close eye on the new mother and her pups. The same probably won't be true of Molly. After 36 hours in labour, she was discharged home with her pups for a well-deserved rest.